Have you ever wondered what makes someone's style appear classic or edgy or chic or even romantic? There are certain things that you can dissect about your style and things that your clothes can say about you. And understanding that can allow you to translate your message to the outside world and allow your clothes to speak for what's inside and kind of what you're going for that day. So to illustrate my objective here, I wanted to break down some outfits and break down these different aesthetics and slowly build them out for you. I'm going to go over over the colors that are um, consistent within these different vibes, the cuts, the fabrics, the materials, and then how you can put that all together in order to channel one or another. Now, in order to illustrate all of this, I am working with Cezanne as part of our ongoing sponsorship. So I'm gonna be styling their shirt throughout for all of these looks and change it up to suit different vibes and different aesthetics just by making some small tweaks. So let's get started. Let's start off with classic. And I think this is a good place to start because it's right in the middle and it tends to be the most attainable and also something that's really good if you want style that's very sustainable. It's a very good starting point, especially as you're figuring out your personal style, because you can't really go wrong here. And once you have this figured out, you can build on it. So when we think about classic style, we can think of it as being very moderate. It lives right in the middle, and that's going to apply to everything from the color to the cut to the fabric. So when we think about the materials first, this is going to be very tried and tested. They're things that are very timeless and they're typically natural fibers. And we can find a lot of wool, a lot of cashmere, a lot of cotton, and especially things that hold their shape. Nothing too flimsy. Again, thinking of that moderation, we don't want anything too stiff and nothing too soft. And that can be really helpful as you're finding a piece because it allows it to be very, very flexible. Now, when we think about the color, these are going to be very timeless colors and again, very moderate. They're going to live right in the middle and they tend to be neutral. So a good way to start is going to be with black. You can go for navy if you don't really love black. Navy is a very good color for this because it's very corporate feeling and very timeless. And then also things like white and off-white and then camel and tan and shades of brown. Those are going to be very representative of classic style because again, we can find them anywhere throughout any decade and they um, mix and match fluidly with those other neutrals. And then when it comes to cuts, you can think of things like simple pencil skirts, straight leg pants, tailored coats, and of course trench coats. And we put all of these together we can take something like this top and make it feel very very classic by wearing it simply by itself button it not too low and not too high then you're gonna add a pair of navy pants again in that straight cut you can go for navy shoes classic simple jewelry a structured classic bag and then a tailored coat this looks elegant classic and so put together and by considering the material the color and then the cut of everything it works together so seamlessly and creates a very very timeless outfit. And then we can take these exact same principles and maybe swap the top for a sweater. And by keeping it again in the same color, it goes with those beautiful shades perfectly and you have a very flexible base. And it's really helpful to think about style like this because once you can identify the words that you're loving, the things that are going to allow you to choose the cuts, the colors, and the materials, you can mix and match everything really seamlessly and use your same base, but maybe swap in the different top, a different pair of shoes, or different pair of pants, all keeping it within the similar energy and the similar vibe. So now let's say your style leans a little bit more chic rather than classic. I think this is a good um, natural progression off of classic style because uh, chic style is very classic, but it's never stuffy and it's a little bit more unexpected. So when we think about chic, we're going to think about materials that are again going to be those natural fibers, but you're also going to start to bring in some shades like leather and faux leather in very clean, very um, very timeless cuts and then also you're going to keep your colors very classic so things again like black and navy but lean a little bit more towards the black and specifically you can really start to play with some color blocking and color blocking when it comes to chic style is a, a really key cornerstone and especially if you take a light color and a dark color and you mix those together you do black or white and off-white and then navy or white and off-white that's going to work every single time and then you can also start to consider things like gray within this overall aesthetic, but I would steer clear of things like camel and beige. Camel and beige, and especially shades of brown, feel very, very classic. And so when we want the departure from that classic style, kind of removing that from the equation is one of the easiest ways to do that. And it's definitely what I do. I'll take the same base of outfit, but then I'll just swap out my accessories and skip the camel or the brown, and it instantly feels a little bit more chic. Now also, when we think of chic style, we think of smart sophistication and a really clear 
clear um, feeling of elegance. And this can come across in your cuts by, again, going for those really timeless silhouettes, things that fit perfectly close to the body. They look like they were tailored to you, but then we can also start to incorporate things that feel a little bit unexpected. So rather than the pencil skirt, you can start to go for skirts that are shorter than a pencil skirt or longer than a pencil skirt. So something in that same silhouette, but keep it above the knee or take it all the way down to your ankle. It's a beautiful silhouette for this aesthetic. And then you can also, instead of straight leg pants, start bringing in things that are a little bit closer, things more like a cigarette style. They taper to the ankle and it's very, very elegant. And also avoid things like cuffing on your pants here because by keeping that line really clean, it again, it leads into that sophistication and creates that perfect base for this chic vibe. And then also because we're leaning into that unexpected energy, you can bring in things like shorts and especially if you bring in a pair of high-waisted shorts with a leather or faux leather finish, that's gonna offset your classic pieces in a way that feels very unexpected. And that again, that tension that's created between classic and current is the perfect sweet spot for chic style. So now if we wanted to take chic style, but we wanna make it feel a little bit different, a little bit more rebellious, that's gonna be edgy style. And this is something that again, going on that progression from classic to chic, edgy is a natural progression from there because it takes a lot of those same principles. We've brought in the leather or the faux leather, but here you're gonna to wanna to pay really close attention to keeping things feeling a very unexpected. And again, a lot of tension within your outfit. So if we wanna think about the colors, this is gonna be mostly black. This is your opportunity to skip navy, even if you think navy suits you better. Getting the tension of black and that kind of somber feeling of black, and especially if it doesn't really go with your coloring, that's a great way to instantly make something feel a little bit more rebellious and edgy. And then also you're gonna to wanna to steer clear of super shiny, super bright materials and fabrics. Those can feel a little bit too lively and instead keep things feeling a little bit more subdued. And then when it comes to your materials, going for things that don't feel too collegiate or too classic, this is your opportunity to maybe bring in things like stretchier materials, again, that leather and faux leather, and keep things from feeling too structured. So instead of going for maybe tailored pants, go for a pair of oversized pants, and then keep that juxtaposition going by pairing those with sneakers rather than a pair of tailored shoes or maybe like a pump. That's gonna to be too predictable and too expected. And to keep it edgy, you want that tension going throughout the entire outfit. So if we put all of these points together in an outfit, you can juxtapose this softer shirt by buttoning it all the way up. You could layer a sweater over it if you wanted, but more importantly, I would throw a leather jacket on top because that's gonna instantly make it feel a little bit different and definitely edgier by its very nature because you've got the faux leather and then you've got all this buckling and detailing on the jacket. And then going by what I mentioned earlier, going for a pair of looser pants would be great or a pair of jeans, you can choose whatever you want. And then opting for a chunkier boot or sneakers, that's gonna create a really great base that's gonna lean perfectly into this. And then also because we're looking for something that feels a little bit unexpected, we wanna step away from things that feel polished and put together and very classic. You're gonna wanna skip the bag, especially if it's too structured. The energy of a structured bag is gonna kind of throw off this whole vibe. So instead you can wear no bag, put the stuff in your pockets. You've got probably big pockets with the oversized pants, or you can go for something like a tote bag. And again, create that tension. It makes it very cool, very unexpected, and perfect for building off of this um, edgy aesthetic. And then of course, this also works perfectly well with the sweater and you can take that same base, but swap the shirt for the sweater. And because both of them are very soft in their color and very soft in their material, keeping all of these points in mind is gonna help make it feel edgy. And it's really helpful to keep this in mind as you're working within the stuff that's already in your closet because you can start to figure out what you love before you bring anything else new in just by mixing and matching and channeling that energy into different ways every single day until you figure out what you love. So last but not least, I wanted to go over romantic style and romantic style is something that we don't see encouraged a whole lot right now. I think modern style at the moment, it can feel like it needs to be a little bit contradictory to that, a little bit avant-garde and just a 
little bit more tension and juxtaposition in our outfits, but romantic dressing is a really nice thing to channel if it's something that you love because it's very distinct. So when we think about romance and we think about romantic dressing, you're gonna think about things that feel a little bit floaty. It almost looks like you could have floated down on a cloud. I think of romantic and ethereal as very similar. And then also you're gonna wanna think of things that make you look like a princess kind of. So peplum tops are great, puff sleeves, square neck, round neck, a scoop neck is wonderful for this. Off the shoulder tops are perfect. And then also things like ruffles, frills, and delicate little touches and details. And this is gonna translate perfectly if you go for fabrics like soft mohair, things that feel a little bit fluffy, again, wool, soft cashmere, and blends that feel very, very soft. You want things that kind of hang delicately on the body and they drape a little bit. They look like if you touched them, they would feel soft to the touch. And for the colors, you're gonna to wanna to keep them light, bright, soft, and airy. White, off-white are perfect for that. Try to avoid black and navy. They are really functional and practical, but they kind of, again, lean a little bit too much into the other aesthetics. And instead of those, go for something like rosy shades, red and pink, burgundy. Those are gonna be perfect. We think of those colors and we think of passion or love, and they're a perfect way to meld this aesthetic even further. And so if we put this all together in an outfit, you can take the top that I was styling. I would again consider putting a camisole underneath it or just unbutton it a little bit and leave it open, but definitely add jewelry, add things that feel a little bit delicate and floaty. It's gonna be a great way to change Channel that because you want things that feel like little jewels and gemstones and then you can also pair that with a skirt you can pair it with pants for this example I think pants is great because going for something that's a higher waist it maybe has a bow detail at the waist and then it tapers really nicely down to the ankle and in a color like a rosy shade that's gonna be perfect for this and then you can also of course do the same thing with the sweater and I think also going for an off-the-shoulder sweater like this it's got this really soft uh, pliable mohair material. It looks a little bit shimmery and floaty, and that paired with the rosy shades does such a beautiful job of creating this aesthetic even further. So those are some of the things that you can keep in mind when trying to channel different energies and different aesthetics, and breaking these down into color, cut, fabric, and then putting it all together in an outfit, it can help kind of demystify the different aesthetics and the different energies, and allow you to really figure out which is gonna speak to you, whether it's one of them or all of them, and different points in your, your life or your year, and you can really play into them in order to feel exactly how you want to that day. So I hope that these tips are helpful for you, and you can keep these in mind as you're building out your outfits. I'm going to link everything that I styled in the description box down below, and then definitely let me know if you'd like to see more like this. I could maybe do more outfit breakdowns. I could again dissect color. I can dissect any element of an outfit in order to make it more digestible. And like always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.